Yeah. Mr. Attorney General, is there any precedent for the state to overrule a county DA that you're aware of? Is there any? As it pertains to the Stephon Clark investigation, is there any example of that where the AG has also investigated a matter and where the county ruled one way, the state ruled another or found another? I think you'll find that in the records, uh, you'll find many uh, instances where uh, the AG has taken independent actions uh, apart from the uh, a district attorney or a city attorney, criminally or civilly. Uh, and remember that there are occasions when the state, uh, the state prosecutors at the AG's office will oftentimes review the actions of a district attorney to find out if the DA abused his or her discretion in, in making a decision. We have the ability to do that uh, by constitution. I o oversee the district attorneys. Uh, certainly they're very independent, but I can review their actions to find out if they abused their discretion. This particular case of the Clark shooting is different because I am conducting a completely separate and independent examination of the evidence to make my own determination about whether there is criminal liability by the officers in this shooting. Just so it's not, it would not be overruling or taking any action vis-a-vis uh, -vis the district attorney's actions. This would be my own action. Just two follow-ups to that. One, are you investigating <clears throat> any potential abuse of power that you just discussed? And then secondly... Let me answer that one first. Okay. So we're not re doing a review based on the abusive discretion standard. So we're not reviewing what the DA did. Mm -hmm. We're doing our own examination of the record and the evidence wholly separate and apart and independently of the DA's office. And then just my other follow-up, she, in her presentation, she's talking about state law. So how, how can you, you know, and I know you can't get into the investigation, what you've found so far, but how difficult is that? You're both looking at the same law, the same evidence. How difficult is that to, to find disc discrepancies there? I mean, um, we have the same record for the most part. Um, and the law is... Uh, it's fairly developed in, in this area. And so what we do, I suspect, will, um, will not diverge in all respects. It's not the same. We don't, I don't know how she and her team undertook their investigation. Um, I certainly can talk about, and I will when we finally finish and release our report, we'll talk about what we did and so it's hard for me to uh, try to compare or contrast because uh, we're going to finish our report and people can take a look at what we do through our report. Uh, and each one stands on its own. Spicera, yeah. um, there was uh, some criticism by the Clark family that D.A. Schubert um, made reference to, uh, to Stephen Clark's suicidal tendencies or whatever it was. Criticism of that. What, is that within bounds? So, uh, Dan, I, 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 I'm going to answer all the questions related to the case when I release because it, it would be an incomplete answer, and I don't think it's fair uh, to anyone if I'm only giving an incomplete answer because I'm trying to avoid getting into our investigation. But hold, hold that question. When we do finally release, please feel free to ask that one at the time. Should yes. Should the use of force standards that, are, you know, that you provided to the SAC PD in your review, should they become the basis of a statewide use of force law? Because, you know, there's two rival bills and yeah. there's got to be some common ground. Yeah. Them. See, Ben, that's, uh, that's going to be a, a, a great question once I release for me to respond to. But, I, again, I don't want to do anything that – may lead people to believe one thing or the other of the work we're doing on the criminal investigation. What you've just raised, Ben, is on the civil side, on the police practice side. And we continue to do the work. We issued our first, the first of two reports that we're uh, on Sacramento PD's uh, practices and protocol. We're going to continue that work. We hope that's used in the future uh, to guide agencies and so forth. But how it impacts what we're doing here, what impact the investigation that we're doing in the Stefan Clark case will have on how policing agencies move forward. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let me try to close it up here and here. Final question. Uh, faith and community leaders say that they're heading to your office right now to 
essentially demand that the officers be prosecuted, and then they say that they intend to follow that up with a pressure campaign. Will that have any effect on your results or your future? I, uh, I, I respect anything that uh, the Clark family and, um, and civic leaders in Sacramento believe they sh must do to express the feelings of this community. I was born and raised in Sacramento. I, I know this community well. What we do in our investigation is will be based on the evidence and the facts that we compile from the investigation. Um, we have to look at this the way a, uh, a court would perceive it, and we have to do everything we can to make sure that uh, we give people the confidence that once we report our results that we can say with confidence that it was based on the evidence and the facts so that people can come to their own conclusions. But we have an obligation at the Department of Justice to make sure that our investigative work, when it comes to its conclusion, is something that we can defend and support in a court of law. And so our, our standard is high, and we take it with a great deal of responsibility. But I absolutely respect um, the desires of community leaders and the family members and loved ones of uh, Mr. Clark, uh, who wish to express themselves, to whether to me or to others. Are you meeting with the protesters today? Or is anyone from your office uh, meeting with them? I'm not aware of any, any such meeting. Thank you all very much. Thank you.